downstairs slash craft room slash piano room slash houseplant room slash everything room in the summer household. Today I have all of these um, seeds and grow kits that I want to plant today. I've got so many. And by so many, I mean four. I have basil, sweet pea, polka dot plant, and chamomile. So I decided not to use some of the containers that came with the grow kits because I didn't trust the way that they were set up. So instead, I had these plastic takeout containers that had these clear lids that would work well as sort of a greenhouse to help keep the seeds moist. So this is me poking some drainage holes into the bottom of the takeout containers. And also in the bottom of this blizzard cup. So two of the grow kits came with these dirt pellets that you pour warm water over and then they expand into a dirt mixture that you plant your seeds in. So here is me pouring warm water over these and you'll see them expand in a second. See there they are expanding a little bit. And then I put this dirt that came with one of the other grow kits on top and I'm just going to mix all of this together into one dirt mixture. And I'm also going to add compost because compost is really good and really nutritious and plants really like it a lot. So I'm going to put some of that into this mixture as well. And here I am just mixing it all up together into one delicious dirt mixture. One of the grow kits also came with plant fertilizer, so I added that in there as well. Along with some activated carbon. Mix it all on up. And now I'm just filling my cups and containers with this compost dirt mixture. And I'm patting it down a little bit. And I decided to sow these seeds, so I'm making this cross indentation into the soil with my finger. And then I'm gonna put the seeds in to that indentation. And these are the sweet pea seeds going into the Dairy Queen cup. And then I just cover the seeds back up with the dirt And then I put it off to the side with my basil seeds that I already planted. I decided to sew two long rows down each of the takeout containers. So here I am doing one. And here's the other. And now I'm planting my sweet pea seeds and they were very big and there were only six of them. So I evenly spaced them out three in each row. And then I cover up those seeds as well. And that is how I planted all of my seeds. Okay, I planted all my seeds and now I'm in this room in the basement that's full of like dressers and tables and um, like golf clubs that nobody really uses at the moment and so it's just kind of in this room um, and I thought there's this little table right here that you can't see um, but I thought that I would 
take that and take it to where I'm gonna keep the seeds upstairs and put them on that because the windowsill isn't big enough for them. I hate your McMansion bathroom <laughs> on the next. And what is one thing you're curious to learn about? I put curiosity, so. I don't think it's crazy. So my seeds are living in between the piano and the sewing station um, right under the window where they will get light in the morning and the grow light will be on in the afternoon. But in this one we have German, German chamomile and here is sweet pea and this is sweet basil. And this one is the um, polka dot plant seeds. So those are all of my seeds. Okay, it is almost a week later. It is May 3rd now. And I thought I would give you an update on how my seeds are growing. But before I do that, I wanna give a huge thank you to a YouTuber named Joanna. She is a horticulture student in Edinburgh, Scotland, and she has so many amazing videos about plants and horticulture. And she made one about growing seeds in a low budget way that I will link below. So you should go check her out because her channel is amazing and so beautiful. But enough about that. Let's see how my seeds are growing. Okay, so here are all of my seeds and you can already see that the polka dot plant is growing, but I'm gonna show you the chamomile seeds first because they were the first ones to grow. So here they all are. They're still really small and kind of leggy, but they're so cute. The next ones to start growing were the basil seeds. And they look like this right now. I think I'm going to have a lot of basil. And then the polka dot plant seeds started growing after that. And they are also very cute and very tiny. And the sweet pea seeds started growing last. And so far we only have two little sweet pea shoots. There's the other one. And next to this, I think is a, a chamomile seed that somehow got into this. So here's all, oh. That might be a third one. Here are all of my seeds. Seedlings or sprouts, I guess now. I think the basil seeds and the chamomile are my favorite little sprouts. I mean, just look how cute they are. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that it has inspired you to go out and grow some food, grow some flowers, grow some plants just garden or take care of houseplants in general. But that's it for now, everyone. So until next time, bye.